fishy friends, welcome to Tim's School of Fish and class is in session. I'm excited because today we're going to take a look at an awesome little pocket dropper slip joint from Marbles. But before we do that, let me just remind you about the 3K giveaway. I am on round five, round six. Round something. Round five? Round six? I don't know. There's still time to enter. I'm going to announce a winner for that next weekend, Easter weekend. I will link that down below, so make sure you go enter for that giveaway. And we've got a couple more coming up. We're just going to keep the 3K giveaway rolling just like we did for the 2K giveaway. So make sure you guys go enter for that. Also, we had Jacob from Very Good Knife Company on the Just The Tip live stream this past Tuesday. So I will pin that to the end screen. Make sure you guys go check that out. That was an awesome show. He is also doing a giveaway. He is giving away a one of a kind fixed blade wasp with gold foil, snake skin, fat carbon handles. That thing is beautiful. You have to enter for that on his website. I will also link that down below. So I've got my giveaway going. Jacob's got his giveaway going. Make sure you go and check those out and enter for a chance to win. One more thing, next Tuesday on the Just the Tip live stream, that episode's going to be on Jake at Uncommon EDC's channel. We are going to have Scott from Aries EDC who is putting out some awesome quality fixed blades. He's going to join us, so make sure you guys tune in for that one. So... Without further ado, let's get this camera turned around and take a closer look. All right, so our box here says genuine ram horn. We've got a nice picture of a ram there and it says marbles. On this side it says genuine ram horn and it says Webster L. Marble came to Michigan's Upper Peninsula in the early 1890s and quickly gained the reputation of being one of the region's finest timber cruisers. An inventor by nature, he was continuously seeking to create useful tools and equipment that would be both practical and durable in the outdoors. By 1898, a modest room manufacturing facility located behind his home became the Marble Safety Axe Company. So marbles actually started in Michigan and they made axes and outdoor equipment and then later knives. On this side it says marbles and it's got the marbles website. On this end we've got our model number MR three six zero let's open this bad boy up and take a look all right so we've got a closed length of three and three quarter inches on this one we've got nickel silver pinched bolsters each of them have a single thread we've got ram horn covers on this one with a double bomb shield that says marbles on there and we have nickel silver pins. Our transition from our bolster to our cover is nice and smooth with no stepping or gapping. We've got a little bit of a proud pin there, but that happens sometimes with stag and horn that's um, grooved like this, so not a big deal for me. We've got stainless steel back springs. Each blade is on its own spring with brass liners. No stepping or gapping. You can see here that the bolsters cover the tangs on both blades which is exactly what a canoe is supposed to be these bolsters flare upward and cover the tangs so they don't get caught in your pocket so good job there i have seen some copperheads and some canoes where the bolster doesn't actually cover the tang on our primary blade here we've got a single match strike nail nick no half style good snap on that one the pull on that one is about a five I would say at the fully open position we are nice and flush with no stepping or gapping on our back spring nice smooth walk on that and a good snap good action on the main blade here we've got a reverse frosted blade here that says ram horn on the tang here we have marbles stamped into the blade that is a stamp and not an etch and on the other side we have our model number which is MR360. This primary blade is kind of a spear point blade, two and a half inches in total length on that one. You can see there that the edge grind is perfect. The edge grind on the other side is nice and precise as well with no 
areas where they got too light or too heavy. Our secondary blade here also has a single match strike nail neck. Stronger pull on that one, I'd say that's about a seven. Good snap at the fully open position. We have no stepping and no gapping on our back spring. Nice smooth walk and a nice loud chatty talk with a good positive snap on that pin blade. In the hand, this is about a three finger knife. It's not a very big one, but I do love a canoe pattern. It's just such a great pocket dropper and super useful there. Nice strong spring, so you don't have to worry about this thing closing on you. And there's probably enough kick there. Nice little area here between the bolster and the kick you can get your finger into and kind of use it as a finger choil. Ergonomically, this thing is awesome. That secondary blade just melts right into the fold of your fingers. So good ergonomics on this one. Like I said, I really do like a canoe pattern. I love the double bomb shield on here and these ram horn covers are just gorgeous. And I typically don't like frosting on a blade, but on here, I think it is very well done. So there you go, boys and girls. That is the Marbles Ram Horn Canoe. I really like this one. It is super affordable. I will link it down below if you want to go check it out and pick one up for yourself. I believe this was maybe $15, maybe $12. I know that it's certainly less than $20. And if you love a canoe pattern, I would highly recommend this one. It is awesome. Guys, don't forget to go enter the 3K giveaway. I'm going to announce a winner for that on Easter weekend. Also, make sure you get over to verygoodknifeco.com and enter the drawing for the wasp that Jacob is giving away. That one is awesome. As always, guys, I appreciate you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this one. Let me know what you think of the canoe pattern in general. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Just click my logo right over there. That's it for this episode of Tim's School of Fish, Boys and Girls. Class dismissed.